Mikhail Kazanov, he was Prime Minister of Russia from 2000 and 2004, is now a critic of Vladimir Putin. Um, good morning to you. Does this feel like the start of a civil war to you in Russia? Uh, I wouldn't say civil war. That, that's, uh, that starts, uh, that's the beginning of the collapse of Putin's regime. Of course, Mr. Putin himself created this problem. It was inevitable that such a crisis will come. And I just, even uh, last year, I predicted this. And in fact, just Prigozhin is uh, Putin's friend who got a responsibility, a, a ability from Putin to help him to get some victorious, a little victorious victories on the battlefield with Ukraine. And in fact, in fact, Mr. Putin somehow created a conflict between the uh, official militaries and this uh, mercenaries group Wagner. And in fact, uh, right now, just Prigozhin goes beyond Putin's expectation. That's why Putin has nothing to do rather than just to, to press and absolutely destroy this, this group. That will, will happen within one, two days. I, I think that will be done. If not, that beginning, beginning of collapse of the regime would, uh, would develop very rapidly. Interesting. And what will be going on um, other than what's happening outwardly in terms of his, his attempt to try and put this uh, rebellion down? What's going on internally, would you suspect? I mean, President Putin is known to be paranoid. He's known to be isolated. Uh, what will be being planned for him personally? In, uh, internally right now, just all, if we can say leaders or whatever, just visible people in power and different positions now pressed to demonstrate publicly, to demonstrate loyalty to Mr. Putin. Every including Kadyrov, who already said just that he's prepared to send his military groups to, 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 to fight with Prigozhin just to stop his operation, this uh, military coup, or whatever how we can call it. Yeah, that's what that's what uh, coming uh, going on right now. Just everyone, all these presenters on televisions, all critics of um, of um, uh, uh, Mr. Prigozhin uh, uh, before, all supporters of Mr. Prigozhin, including just those um, the people from uh, from the parliament. Now they had to demonstrate loyalty to Putin and to condemn Prigozhin. That's what's going now. And they already started the military started to bomb just. The, the highway from Crimea and from Rostov to Moscow, so that to prevent any movement of these highways of, uh, of military trucks to Moscow. Well, if the goal is to isolate Mr. Prigozhin here, I mean, the video that shows him seemingly in cordial conversation with senior members of the Russian military, what do you make of that? Because if he manages to turn significant factions of the Russian military, then he's pretty powerful. Uh, in fact, in fact, uh, there's clear. Oh, I think we are losing that line again. Um, we will try to re-establish that line with Mr. Kazinov, the former prime, oh, prime minister of Russia until 2004. I'm sorry, Mr. Kazinov, I need to ask you to re repeat your answer to that question. I was just asking whether you think it's realistic that Mr. Prigozhin can effectively uh, co-opt the Russian military, that video where he seems to be in cordial conversation with senior members of the Russian military um, d does beg the question. It is impossible to have cooperation between a senior, senior generals or a senior command of army with Prigozhin. Absolutely not, they hate him. And they, of course, just eager to, do, to to liquidate him. The problem could be with the with the uh, I would say a junior officers on the battlefield who can demonstrate sympathy to Prigozhin because of problems they're facing on the battlefield. The problem with the supplies and the just operational or coordinated commands and all other many many other. That's that's what I'm saying. Just on the, on the junior officers, they could they could somehow create sympathy, but uh, on a higher level, absolutely impossible. That's why just there will be an interesting period within these upcoming two days. How just Putin will be able to stop this uh, military, military, I would say, coup, whatever uh, word we can use of, for, for, the, for this Prigozhin's attempt to, 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 change, to change, I would say, the leadership of Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. 
And it'll be interesting to see, won't it, um, in reality, what the relationship between Prigozhin and the GRU is, because that could be a critical power dynamic. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And right now, just of course, as I said, all all the propaganda machine will be mobilized against Prigozhin, and just the issue is just how far Prigozhin could move and how now I would say harsh measures Putin can undertake against this military group, whether they will be bombing them just or just what other things. But Prigozhin said they are not going, they're going, not going to confess, not going to accept any, I would say, um, uh, I would say, con conversation, uh, uh, quiet conversation and to, 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 to accept uh, Putin's requirement to stop this operation and just to, to, to uh, be recognized as, as a traitors. And in fact, that already just the criminal case already opened by general prosecutor office. It means just Prigozhin could could be put in jail for for 12, 15 years at least, if not liquidated. Putin's focus, as you're saying, is going to be 100 percent on trying to push put this down. Where does this leave the assault in Ukraine? Uh, in fact, that that's now now uh, happening without, uh, I would say, emotions as uh, as uh, uh, I would say, defeat uh, coming on the, on, the, on the battlefield on the, on the war against Ukraine. But on a later stage, such a conflict would be even harder and deeper. And in fact, of course, uh, successful military operation, uh, contra counter operation, counter offensive operation of uh, Ukrainian uh, army, that will be the trigger for further problems in uh, in uh, in uh, Putin's elite or ruling elite, if we can call this name by that name. That's what we should expect: just further problems um, uh, in Russia. And moreover, in the, in the, in the, in the coming autumn, Putin had to announce that he's going for 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 the next presidential term, and he would like just to get support of army and all people. And what is going on, uh, uh, taking place right now, of course, uh, are playing against this. And that's why Putin will be nervous even more than that. And that would be, we, we shall see development in the, within a few days and then uh, later uh, as a result of successful counteroffensive operation of Ukraine. What do you think will happen if um, Wagner forces do descend on Moscow in, in the next day or two? Uh, I don't believe they will. They will come. Uh, of course, just uh, uh, Putin's uh, militaries will will create everything not to happen. This so that will not happen. And that's why just I don't expect such such things. There's already closed two roads uh, coming to Moscow. As I said, just highway from Rostov Don and highway from Crimea. They already closed those those bridges over Moscow River, so that these two main roads already closed. For any transportation, just not necessarily just only for 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 Wagner's, but Wagner's right now in Voronezh, which is uh, 600 kilometers from Moscow. But uh, uh, I don't think they will uh, be able to move to Moscow. They they're not they're not so capable to 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 create such a problem, such a big problem. All right, uh, Mikhail Kazinov, thank you very much for talking to us on Sky News. Thank you.